So 2010 question 8, define an acid according to Bronston Larry, proton donor, conjugate acid. Um, a base changes into its conjugate acid when it uh, accepts a H plus, okay, or a proton. And acting as an acid base indicator, methyl orange behaves like a weak acid. HX goes to H plus plus X minus. Um, in aqueous solution, the undissociated uh, form, so that means the form that exists as HX is red, and the disassociated form, X minus, is yellow. You're asked to distinguish between a strong acid and a strong base. So a strong acid, does it matter here whether you use Arrhenus or Bronston Larry? Strong acid fully disassociates in water to produce H plus ions. Weak acid only partially disassociates to produce H plus ions. Or using Bronston Larry, strong acid is a good proton donor. Weak acid is a poor proton donor. Then you're asked, uh, what is the conjugate base of HX? Okay. So an acid changes into a conjugate base when it donates a H plus. So X minus there is my conjugate base. So then part B, we're asked to state and explain the color observed when a few drops is added to, firstly, HCl, and secondly, NaOH. Okay, so if I have HCl, I'm increasing my H plus ion concentration. Okay, so because of that, my equilibrium shifts left. So my color there will be red. And then under NaOH, what happens is that H plus removes OH minus ions. So I'm decreasing my concentration of OH minus. So Equilibrium is going to shift in the direction, uh, sorry, decrease concentration of H+. Plus. So my equilibrium is going to shift in the direction in order re to replace those H+. Plus. So equilibrium shifts right, so my colour there is yellow. So make sure you state the reason, i.e. the direction equilibrium shifts and why it shifts that way. And again here, the colour produced and why the equilibrium shifts in the direction in which it does. Okay, the next part then is calculate the pH of a 0 0.10 molar solution of NaOH. And secondly, then we're asked for our uh, methyl orange. So I am firstly going to find out the pH of this. So firstly, I have NaOH and that's going to disassociate to produce Na plus and OH minus. So my ratio there is one is to one. So I have 0 0.01 moles here, then I also have my same number of moles of OH minus ion concentration. So my pOH is equal to minus log to the base 10 of my OH minus ion concentration. So that's minus log to the base 10 of 1 point, uh, 0 0.10. So minus log of point 0.1 is going to give me 1. So then you're asked for your pH. So pH is 14 minus 1. So my pH there is 13. Okay. Second part then is I am asked for my pH if I have a 0 0.004 moles molar solution with the Ka of 3.5 by 10 to the minus 4. Okay, so this is my MA and I have my KA. So my concentration of H plus ions is equal to the square root of MA by KA. So that's the square root of 0 0.004 by 3.5 by 10 to the minus 4. And that gives me an answer of 3.5 by 10 to the minus 4 gives me 1.11 sorry 1.183 by 10 to the minus 1 2 3 okay and then I'm asked here to calculate the pH so pH equals minus log to the base 10 
of my H plus ion concentration minus log the base 10 of 1.183 by 10 to the minus 3. So minus log of 1.183 by 10 to the minus 3 gives an answer of 2.92.